The Go Heaven Show with me, Stretch Taylor, bringing real music back to the table. Tuesday nights, 9 till midnight, UK time, here on Colourful, 4 till 7, NYC time for all the uh, New York crew. Shout out to everybody listening in worldwide to Colourful and supporting the station. Regular listeners to uh, the show will know we have guests nearly each and every week in interview. We have some massive names, some legends. We also uh, support the indie artists as well, the independent artists and the UK artists. And of course, upcoming artists as well, looking for their breaks. And uh, tonight on the phones, we welcome a new face in contemporary R&B, who's got a fantastic album on the streets right now. We welcome to Colourful tonight, Crystal Johnson. How are you doing, Crystal? Are you there? Yes, I'm here. I'm fine, thank you. Nice to speak to you. How are you? Uh, how are you today? Are you good? What's the time I'm there doing, in Atlanta? I'm doing great. I, I, I have a cold, but I'm I'm doing good. Other than that, I'm excited to be on the radio with you guys tonight. So, uh, so you're out of Atlanta, yeah? Yes, I'm out in Atlanta. I'm originally from New York, though. I've only moved okay. here um, four years ago. Right. Okay. So, so you... I'm from Brooklyn. <laughs> oh, BK, yeah. Yeah. BK to the fullest. <laughs> to the fullest, to the fullest. <laughs> Crystal Johnson live an in interview, live and direct from uh, from Atlanta tonight on the uh, Transatlantic phone line. Thanks for joining us, uh, Crystal. Now, tell us about this uh, this this album then. We've uh, we've been playing it for what two weeks now. We've had the single, the the, uh, the joint uh, come home with uh, Fife. We've been playing that for about yes. six six weeks to two months on the show. So tell us about the album. Wow. The album, The Day Before Heaven, um, it's a positive album. It's an album meant to inspire, meant to inspire not just the soul, but the musician. Um, you know, myself being a musician at heart, um, I grew up exposed to so much um, greatness, and I just really wanted to give a message of hope and inspiration and reality, yeah. um, you know, of the soul. Okay. So uh, the the album title is uh, it's a it's a crazy one. The day before heaven. How did that come about? Where did you get that from? Uh, I'm gonna try to condense it because it's a really big story. But basically, um, the day before heaven is about like um, living your life like you already have what you want, like you've already accomplished. You know, like if if, if it were the day before you had your first child, or the day before your marriage, or the day before you are released from the penitentiary or the day before you, you know, attain knowledge of self, you know. So I just try to give different aspects of that. And I, I want myself and others to just live our lives like it's the day before heaven. Mm. I think if we lived like that, we'd have different, we'd have a different outlook and perspective. We probably wouldn't get so angry or disappointed because we know heaven is promised to us tomorrow, you know. Mm. So... That's really kind of like a short version of it. <laughs> Amazing title. Now, uh, discuss the album. Who have you, who have you got on the uh, the album, uh, Crystal? Um, and who did you hook up uh, producer wise? Oh, okay, um, some great producers. I was so blessed to work with most. Most of the producers are longtime friends of mine. Okay. Um, Mike City, um, he's phenomenal. We we go back for like. Many, many years. I'll just say that. Yeah. <laughs> um, um, Herb Middleton. Um, okay. he's a, I've known Herb since I was about 10 years old. He used to play um, the bass at a church that my father played the organ at. Um, okay. And so I know, I've know i known him for a very long time. Josh Milan. I've known Josh for many years as well. He's another brother of mine, Dinky Bingham. We all go back. Um, Ray, Ray so Hall Holloman. He's like out on tour right now, Ray Ray, with Chris Brown. He's a beast. He plays like 50 instruments. Um, who else? Andrew Stock. Um, I met him through Dave Kennedy, who was a phenomenal um, engineer out in Jamaica who worked on the project. And, oh, I really don't want to miss anybody. Who am I not thinking of? Seems like there's someone, but they'll come to me. It'll come to me. And um, I basically did all of my vocal production. Right. And, um... Did all of the recording of my vocals and really went through that whole process of just going in hard. Um, and um, I recorded about 30-something songs, actually, and wow. 
tried to pick the best 14 for, for not necessarily even the best, but what was fitting for this season to me. Yeah. So, yeah. yeah. Well, you got some lineup producers there. I mean, uh, who was the first one you said? Mike City is he's the guy that um, worked with Sunshine Anderson on some brilliant records and also uh, with El Barge, didn't he, recently? Absolutely, absolutely. Yeah. He is, he's so talented. Yeah, and as you said, Herb Middleton? Herb Middleton, yes. Me and Herb worked on quite a few things. We're still working on some stuff together right now, so yeah. 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 And who, who was the other ones again? Just remind me again. Herb Ray Middleton. Ray Holloman. That's right. He's out of Philly. Yeah. Um, he, he, he's touring right now with, yeah. um, as a, one of the musicians for right. um, Chris Brown. Right. And um, also Andrew Stock. He's out of Florida. Um, and uh, yeah, I think that's it. I think I'm in. And Dinky Bingham. Dinky Bingham. That's right. Dinky go Bingham. back. Yeah. He yeah. was in the Jamaica Boys and, you know. So yeah. Yeah. So so what I think I named everybody. And I named Josh Milan, right? Oh yeah, Josh actually, yeah, we'll get onto that later on, Josh Milan, because it's really interesting. Okay. I, I I I know that you've done uh, a track on uh, Josh's uh, album and uh, I love that record. We're gonna play that later on, yeah. We haven't talked about this okay. off air before, have we? No, but uh, we'll, we'll talk about that later on, yeah? Um, the, okay. With regard to the album, what uh, it, what album is, uh, sorry, what label is it out on? Um, Egyptian Fusion Music is my independent label. All right. Um, okay. Yeah. I've been around for a while. I did yeah. some white labels a few years ago, yeah. and then I kind of took a break from the artist side. So, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah EFM. Yeah. Yeah. How are you finding pushing the uh, whole project yourself? Is it difficult? Learning the business side? It's quite difficult. It's, it's difficult, but I love a challenge. Um, I don't want to dissuade anyone by saying, oh, it's so easy. Um, I've been blessed. A lot of things just came to me, you know, mm, just yeah. pure blessing. And I guess based off of seeds that I planted many years ago, I've been doing this for a minute. So, yeah. you know, you sometimes when you're in the background, you don't realize that you do garner support and have people that are yeah. you know waiting for you so it took this project to come out for me to see that you know i have a base a support base and yeah. um you know but yes it's very it's very it's very time consuming it's hard so who much is given much is required you have to you know be very focused it takes a lot from your personal side but it's well worth it to me because i'm able to give the music that comes from my heart by being independent um yeah. And I can appreciate that. I, I can appreciate yeah. um, being on the radio with you right now because I know that it's not easy. You yeah. know what I'm saying? As yeah, opposed yeah. to just having it given to me. Yeah. So um, there are definite rewards in it. Yeah. So it's like your little baby. Exactly. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> now, uh, let's, uh, this, this, this album, uh, The Day Before Heaven, where can people uh, pick it up? Is it CD Baby, Amazon, places like that? Can they uh, get the album? Yes, um, all of the digital retailers, CD Baby, iTunes, Amazon, okay. um, I can't even think of eMusic, you know, there's quite a few. Mm. Um, it's also available physically on CD Baby, on right. my website, www.crystaljohnson.com, um, in local stores, um, I know Soul Brothers, uh, Breaking Artists, uh, and there's someone else, I can't remember, Mark. I can't remember the name of the company, my apologies. Um, but they're available, you know, in some, like, places in the, in London, in the U.S. I'm in mean, Chicago yeah. with um, Dusty Groove, L.A., uh -huh. Amoeba. So yeah. slowly I'm building, yeah. um, you know. Yeah. That, the the that, album's that getting a good buzz. And... I'm sorry, I can understand you. The, the album's getting a good buzz at the moment, in the, in the right circles over here, definitely. I'm grateful for that. I'm so grateful for that. London, UK, um, um, Manchester, everyone, they've been showing me so much love. It's, it's, it's overwhelming. And I love you guys so much. I can't wait to get out there and embrace the love that you've shown me and give it back and do some really good singing. And, you know, I'm all about performing. 
I love a band. I, I grew up in music, so mm. I can't wait. I, I mean, I just I'm living for that. I, I appreciate the love that you guys have shown me so much. You, you just don't even know, you know. I also appreciate people like Fife, who just, you know, I've known him for some years, you know, through the music game and the hip hop. I did a lot of features and so forth, and he called me up and was like, you know, your album is really great, and you just got to put me on 15 bars for this joint. And I was like, wow, thanks, you know. Mm. Um, so then he wound up saying, you know, I think we need to do a little call and response, you know, kind of reminiscent of like what Mary J. Blige and um, Grand Poobah That's did. That's right, yeah, yeah, on the 411 album. 411, album. 411 yeah. where, yeah. you know, we go back and forth. So at first I'm like, yeah. Fife, I don't That's rap. Right. Yeah. <laughs> he was like, you can do it, Ma, you can do it. So, <laughs> you know, I went in and gave it my best shot, and I love it, and yeah. I've gotten so, such good response from the song. I don't think I'm coming out with a rap album, but, you know, <laughs> it was fun doing it. <laughs> it was fun doing it. Yeah, I, I like the way that you uh, go back and forth on that track with with uh, Fife. Now, uh, for people that don't know, obviously it's Fife from a tribe called Quest that you've got on the uh, on on the single, which is uh, incredible. How did you hook up with Fife? Have you known him for a long time? Yes, I know. I've known Fife for many many years, and we're actually um, I actually collaborated with him on um, a, a joint that he has coming out. Really. On his- forthcoming project okay we look so forward we to were that. already in you know we were already in communication with one another and he just reached out to me um maybe a week the week that my album came out and really loved um come home and just offered to just help and give me some love and i appreciate and love him so much for that mm. so we also have some other stuff coming out um on his project and okay. his fire as well yeah so he's, he's uh he's a uh, five um doing a, a solo project now I, I I believe it's coming out soon. I can't really yeah. give any de- details because I don't know much, but I know okay. that I'm on it. <laughs> and I know it's fire. I know he's, like, really representing hard oh. for hip-hop. Yeah. And, um, you know, I- I'm excited for him. Okay. A Tribe Called Quest, my uh, favorite rap group of all time. Plain and simple. <laughs> I, I think I can say the same yeah, thing, I think too, you, yeah, actually. Yeah. I think most people say the same that are into, uh, <laughs> into the real deal, shall we say. That's right. Yeah. Now, uh, this uh, this uh, single, Crystal, uh, have you got a video for it with Fife? I'd love to see the video of you and Fife, you know, like you said, going back and forth with like the, mal- ha- with, like, the male perspective and the female perspective. We haven't shot a video. Um, there was some scheduling constraints and so forth, and yeah, right yeah. now we're just really trying to regroup on my end. You know, I'm independent, so it's like I'm not able to just push a button as quickly as I'd like to and then Fife is based somewhere else and he's been touring and yeah, course, you know yeah. all of the little things that can come in the delay but mm-hmm. that's definitely something that's going to be coming um, I have a few videos that are lined up and hopefully you know everything will just be the way I envision it from a from an um, image perspective you yeah, know what I'm saying yeah, yeah. so that's something that you can definitely look forward to mm. excellent Crystal, so I'll tell you what, we've been talking about the uh, the the, uh, the first single for about five minutes now, so uh, I think it's about time to get into it, and uh, and also a cut from the album as well. As we said, we've got a special guest, Crystal Johnson, live in interview from the USA, from Atlanta, on the phones right now, and uh, we're talking about her excellent album, The Day Before Heaven. Uh, we're going to hit we've uh, hit you with uh, two joints back to back now, going to hit you with a single, and also one of my favourite cuts for the album. I'm going to keep that a secret for a little bit, yeah? Crystal, stay with us on the line, yeah? We'll be back after these two cuts. Don't hang up. I, I just want to talk to you, and um, I'm really feeling kind of bad right now about what happened earlier. Mm-hmm. And I just hope that um, we can work through these things. Work through it, right? Mm-hmm. Okay, listen. Again, I had a fine day. You just had to kindly f*** it up. Them bum chicks you hang with, swear to God, they talk too much. Boy, please, I've got reason to harass you. Blackberry on lock, what should I think? What am I supposed to do? A woman's intuition is so not to be played with. F your insecurities, not trying to hear that bull. What happened to the we? What happened to the us? What happened to my fight? What happened to the trust? You stalled out because we had a fight. I said something that wasn't right now. Oh, no, me. Feel so 
much shame with no one to blame. No.
an absolute bad boy tune. Crystal Johnson. Incredible record. She's our uh, special guest in interview tonight. I want to shout out to uh, a few people before we go on with the interview. Shout out to uh, Saver and his fan club. <laughs> <laughs> Sally Arbon, the Chelsea girl. Mark Collins and uh, Chris Richardson up there in Newcastle. How you doing, mate? So shout-outs tonight to uh, the Liverpool crew from uh, Pamela, who says, Hi, bad tunes. Me and the friends chilling, having a little drink and digging the bad tunes. Just give the Liverpool crew a nice little shout. That's from Pam. How you doing, crew? Hope you're enjoying the music tonight. And our special guest in the studio, Crystal Johnson. Crystal, you still there? Yes, I'm here. Thank you for uh, staying with us. Now, two great uh, cuts back-to-back. We uh, hit you with uh, the single... Come Home featuring uh, Fife from A Tribe Called Quest and the second joint that is my cut Summer Nights <laughs> thank you thank you that's actually my upcoming single my next single wow I love it uh, it's have, absolutely you great have, vibe you, call it. you know how to call it huh <laughs> yeah it's a great vibe thank you just uh, great quality that was produced by Mike City my, ah that Summer explains Nights. it that explains it it's got that Mike City feel <laughs> definitely yeah, I can. I can just imagine it yeah he makes some great records, doesn't he? He is a he is a, what we call here a beast. He's definitely a beast. Yeah. I love Mike City. Yeah, that record that he did with El Barge and Faith Evans recently—that's just amazing. He, he he's he, he 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 he's consistent. He's very consistent. I mean, yeah. even the stuff that he did with Brandy back in the day was yes, like, right. yeah. like so great. Yeah. yeah. Mm-hmm. So how did that track come about with Mike? You know, you know, just uh, give us a little insight into the studio, how you laid down the vocals, because I love the way the vocals are layered on the choruses. Oh, thank you. Um, actually, he when I, you know, reached out to him and let him know, you know, that I was working on a project, he just sent me some tracks, and, you know, I kind of went through, like, yeah, 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 yeah. And um, I recorded it in my basement studio, um, and... After I finished doing all the vocals and recording the vocals, I sent all of the files out to um, Jamaica for Dave Kennedy. He's a legendary engineer. Uh Phenomenal. Um, He knows how to bring out that warmth and, you know, give that analog feel, you know, which is kind of missing today. So I love Dave Kennedy's touch. Um, Real engineers, you know. Um, And so he mixed it and sent me the files back. So everything was done from a digital perspective, you know, which was interesting for me, you know, but fun and quick. So how how long have you been in the game, um, Crystal? Wow, I mean, really, 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 really all of my life. I started off in theater as a little girl. Okay. I was original to do a play, a um, classic off-Broadway play called Mama, I Want to Sing when I was a little girl, like 11, 12 years old. And then I stayed into theater for a while, and then yeah. at like 18, 19, I ventured off into the music game, and I've been, <laughs> I mean, I I was going, who's the man soundtrack back in, what was that, 93 or something like that. Really? I, they got me waiting with Heavy D. I did yeah, I remember that. Rising with Mob Deep. So I've been around for quite some time, you know, it's just a part of my life, I guess, you know. Mm, mm. At this point, we got a uh, shout out to uh, Godfrey, Fl- uh, Godfrey Fletcher as well. I know he's supporting you very well, isn't he? He is a great, great, great friend and person. Neil the Soda. Neil the Soul Promotions. He's consistently been a true confidant, <laughs> and um, I, I, I love him and I appreciate his appreciation for the whole music. You know, real music and music yeah. that that matters. That sticks to the bone. Mm. So, so what are you planning, Crystal? Uh, uh, live date wise, are you coming over to the UK soon? I'm planning on actually working on that right now on um, the negotiations. We had some, you know, little setbacks and stuff, but I am definitely 
definitely coming. I am definitely coming, and I'm so excited to give you a live show. Hopefully, like none other, you know, um, the experience because I, it's so it's just in me. It's waiting to come out, so I can't wait. <laughs> yes, I'll be there. <laughs> yes, I will be there. Now this. Uh album crystal is quality all the way what, what strikes me about the album as well is there's uh, lots of different styles on there isn't there you've even got like a samba type record there's like a reggae record as well was that intentional Absolutely. when you went in the studio that was intentional um you know like now that i've explained to you that i've been in this like i was birthed in it both my parents were well, actually all of my parents my stepfather my biological father my mother i come from a musical family so I have all of that in me. I was exposed to jazz and gospel coming up in church, of course, and theater, like a um, musical type of music, um, you know, jazz, heavy jazz, light jazz, pop. I'm first generation of hip-hop. I was around when hip-hop, you know, I was a little girl when, you know, I first heard hip-hop. So, and growing mm. up in New York, so I have all of this naturally inside of me. Yeah. And what I wanted to do is just make a cohesive CD project that kind of shows that I, I can do it all and try to really just create my brand as a journalist artist. Mm. So, um, you know, like even with me working with, with Josh, you know, he's legendary for the house, you know, soulful house. Yeah, Josh um, Milan, yeah. But I can sing anything, you know, I, I feel. So I really, um, I'm glad that I had the, the, the courage to do that so that I could, you know, I won't limit myself into a box, but at the same time, I feel like the message and, and the, the, the consistency of good music makes it a cohesive thing. But I hope that's what I hope anyway. Yeah, that's absolutely, what I, it does. I feel. It does, yeah. Now, uh, tell us about uh, what's uh, next on the horizon for Crystal. What are your next projects? Um, actually, that that is really funny that you said that specifically because I'm working with shout out to Juliet over there with you guys. Um, we're working on a duet. Oh, you're together working with Juliet. Okay, project. cool. Yeah. Um, <laughs> And, and the name of it is, is very, you know, close to what you just said. So it's kind of funny that you mentioned that. Um, I also just finished working with Herb Middleton um, for some Anne Nesby, which is phenomenal. He just sent me a lot of, of the song I did the writing. Um, and it's fantastic. I'm also releasing an, an EP, kind of like a, in, a, in a vein of the mixtape. Um um, turning a lot of the hip hop joints that I was featured on, you know, over the years into R and B songs so that people yeah. are kind of familiar, like say, Oh, okay, that's Crystal Johnson, yeah. that's okay, I know that voice or that name and a little bit more towards the street, you yeah, know. Yeah. Um so I'm looking forward to that. Um I have some great stuff. I did a remake of Temperatures Rising, um and a few other joints and plus some unreleased I have music like What's that, the Mob Deep record, yeah? I'm Tem sorry, I didn't is that, the, is that the Mob Deep record, Temperatures Rising? Yeah, Temperatures Rising, okay. and I, I have an R&B version of it. It's, it's, it's definitely really? fire. I'd so like to hear that, yeah. I'll definitely have to give you an exclusive yeah. of that. Yeah. So what tracks have you been on over the years, um, Crystal, that people might not necessarily know about? You said about the Temperatures Rising record from Mob Deep. What other cuts like that? Yeah, Is there some I, others? I did Temperatures Rising, and I yeah. was also featured on the remix of Temperatures Rising. Yeah. Um, Pip called me in on that project, um, and it was really a great experience. Shout out to Tiff, another Child Call Quest, you know, fam. Um, and um, I also worked with Pete Rock and Seal Smooth. Did um, you really? Wow. Uh, uh, take you there to see wow. what you're gonna do. That was you. I, I did didn't know that. I didn't know that. Yeah, wow. um, a lot of stuff. I, I'm trying to think. I, I, I wrote some stuff for Angie Stone a few years ago, a song yeah. called Cinderella Balling. Yeah. Um, we're supposed to be doing some stuff together soon. Um, I, like I said, I was on the original, um, what was that, Who's the Man? <laughs> yeah, Who's the Man soundtrack, the yeah. When I was signed to Uptown, yeah. and yeah. we were all young and growing up and learning, you know, yeah. life yeah. and the music business and everything. Yeah. Um, so you was, was, was around then MVP, soaking up all that. that music, wasn't you? You was around that time soaking up all that great music, and it was fantastic back then, wasn't it? I can't, I can't believe you did the, uh, the the joint with Pete Rock and Smeal, Smooth Take You There. That's one of my favourite Pete and Seal records. 
<laughs> wow, great. Yeah, yeah, Pete, actually, I put out a single a few years ago, and Pete featured on it. I'll have to send it to you uh, yeah, if you don't do. have it already. Yeah. And um, I have Anthony Hamilton on there, as well as Stick from Dead Prez. Um, so, okay. you know, it, it, it's so great when we as artists can reach back out and, mm. and help one another, you know. Yeah. So. Absolutely. I look forward to hearing some of that stuff. Now, we were saying um, earlier about the, some of the projects you're, you're doing and you have been doing. You featured on the uh, Josh Milan, uh, was it Honeycomb Music Volume 1 album, which uh, I think is, uh, I don't know if it's even out yet, I think it's out at the, uh, the mid-October, end of October. You've got, you got a cut on there, haven't you? Great album it is. Yes, it's a fantastic album with great artists and really mm. singing divas and really singing men, and it's just a really great project. I love Josh. Mm. I just came back from New York. Um, we did a boat ride release party, and right. everybody performed, and it was great. Nice, nice. That sounds. Uh, and he's uh, specifically known for his house music, isn't he, Josh? So it's like a, it's quite a welcome um, release for him. Probably doing an album like this as well. It's very soulful, isn't it? Very soulful, very mm. soulful, but you can definitely dance to it, you know, yeah. good singing, you know, good messages, mm. good, you know, great singing. Yep. Yeah. Um, China Black and Don yep. Paulman and yeah. Angela Johnson and um, mm. Cinnamon Brown and Josh himself. And I don't know if I'm forgetting anyone, but everyone <laughs> on the project is, is really great. So, yeah. We've been uh, featuring the uh, the track with uh, Angela Johnson really heavily, heavily actually, in, in, in the show over the last sort of six weeks or so. It's a great record. Okay, yeah, I love her song. She's mm. a really sweet spirit. Mm. She's really an, uh, an angel. Yeah. So, so you was in uh, you was involved in the golden era of hip hop, basically, wasn't you, Crystal? With you know, a Tribe Called Quest and Mob Deep and stuff like that. Who are your, some of your other influences from from around that era? Um. Wow. <laughs> I mean, that whole era of music was an influence for me, um, really, to be honest with you. Um, overall, I mean, I go back, of course, to the soul, the, the original soul singers like Stevie and Donny mm. Hathaway and yeah. so forth. Um, yeah. You know, that, 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 that's what I grew up on, mm. in addition to gospel. And I, I came from a pretty well-known gospel church. And, you know, so I was exposed to so so many different, diverse, great mixtures of music. Um, I love um, I love a lot of what's going on right now. You know, I love the soul that's going on right now. Yeah. Um, it makes me feel good. It makes me feel like I'm not alone. So um, it, it's, it's a lot. I, I love that whole era of music. Mm. Mm. So, uh, what's it like to live in the uh, the hot spot of Atlanta, where all the great artists uh, seem to be residing at the moment? Atlanta is definitely a hot spot um, for me. Actually, it's a slower pace. You know what I mean? Um, right. Because I'm coming from New York City. Yeah. Um, all my life in New York, so you know it's always been a fast pace for me. So coming to Atlanta has definitely slowed me down, which is good because I have a lot of focus that mm. maybe I didn't have in in New York. Um, there's definitely a, a big music scene out here. Yeah. There's a lot of people that have migrated from New York here as well as okay. you know the the the. the um, native Atlanta ATLians, as they say. Um, but I love it here. I love the weather, good mm -hmm. people, the vibe, you know. Mm -hmm. Actually, but I'm still a native New Yorker. I'm a New Yorker at heart. A native so, New Yorker. You know. <laughs> <laughs> so, something quite interesting about Atlanta is, you know, it's a real hotspot for music and, uh, you know, people with a, a lot of money from the music business that have, you know, made their names. How, how is somewhere like that dealing with the recession, the worldwide recession? you know, as a pocket of, uh, you know, an area? Um, wow. I mean, it's, it's evident everywhere in yeah. the United States, to be yeah. honest with you. Is I it worse than New York, or is it... ...who once had co careers, but now that, you know, they're working jobs. Yeah. And in the music industry, you know, um, as an artist, you know, it's really important to be able to, to tour more than anything to get out there. Yeah, and, um, yeah. So, you know, you definitely see the effect, but yeah. but the effect that, it's, that the economy has had. Um, mm. But, you know, if this is what you, whatever your passion is, you have to persevere, you know what I mean? Yeah. And, and, and just keep it moving because mm. you just can't give up, you know what you I mean? Can, we you can never can't. give up, yeah. We can never give up this great music yeah. of ours, can we? <laughs> 
That's right. You can't. <laughs> and, and like I said, it's so refreshing listening to your show and other really good quality DJs who play a variety of music because it, uh-huh. it reminds me that it's not dead, you know? Yeah. Hip-hop isn't dead. R&B isn't dead. Yep. Soul music isn't dead. Uh-huh. Music isn't dead. It's it's almost like, um, what do you call it? It's, it's almost like an extinct Yeah, um, you have to animal, search for you know it. Yeah, I mean? yeah. But it's not dead. Yeah. It's waiting to be reborn. That's right. Yeah. Good quality music never goes away. That's right. It doesn't matter when it was made. Now, uh, Crystal, we've uh, only got, um, what, eight minutes of the show left. Wow, it's gone so quick. I've, I need to, I really need to uh, play another three tracks uh, to uh, to uh, help push your album as well. <laughs> the day before Thank heaven. Thank you. <laughs> I know, I'm just talking and talking. <laughs> no, it's great to spend a lot of time with you. Now, um, uh, thanks for uh, uh, joining us to uh, talk about your album. Uh, it's uh, it's been Thank a, a, ple- a pleasure me. tonight. Thanks for thanks for joining us for so long. Um, do you know what we're going to play three joints back to back? And uh, before we go, have you got anything to say to uh, the listeners and uh, the people who might not have your album yet, Crystal? Um, again, my website is www.crystaljohnson.com. Um, please support independent artists. Please support real music. Please support love. And please support DJ Stretch. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for spending time with us uh, tonight, Crystal. Yeah, we're going to get into uh, three more cuts, uh, two from the album. What are we going to go for? Let's have a look. This is live radio. What are we going to go for? We don't even know yet. Uh, Who Am I? And uh, A Turn of the Tide. And if we can fit it in as well, we're going to uh, hit the listeners with the cut from the uh, Josh Milan album as well. It's been a, a pleasure speaking to you, Crystal. Thanks for uh, spending time with us tonight, and I wish you uh, all the success in the world with the album, yeah? Thank you. God bless. Thank you. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. A very nice lady, Crystal Johnson. Thanks for uh, spending time with us.